shortage is addressed. Well, starting tonight at 10 o'clock, I-84 east of I-5 in both directions is shutting down for the weekend for the installation of a new pedestrian bridge. Uh, both lanes will remain closed through the weekend. And joining us live to talk about the construction is PBOC Communications Coordinator Hannah Schaefer. Good morning, Hannah. Hi, good morning. Well, tell us about this uh, new pedestrian and bike bridge, uh, which uh, I understand is being named after uh, U.S. Congressman Earl Blumenauer. That's correct. The Congressman Earl Blumenauer Pedestrian and Bicycle Bridge is going to be placed over I-84 this weekend. Uh, this bridge is a really crucial connection for anyone traveling between the Lloyd District and the Central East Side, as well as any other place north or south of that location. Um, we don't have a lot of great crossings in the area for people who uh, want to walk or bike or use a mobility device to get across I-84. Uh, the additional benefit of this bridge is that it is seismically resilient. And so in the case of that major earthquake, we will have a bridge that will be able to take emergency vehicles across I-84 in Sullivan's Gulch. Mm. And yeah, as you mentioned, I-84, you know, it's a major highway running through the east side there that really does separate these areas. But that, of course, means that uh, we have a major route being shut down for the weekend while this bridge is being installed. So how long is this 84 closure going to be happening? Well, our first small closure started this morning. The Grand Avenue exit or on-ramp onto I-84 has already closed at 5 a.m., but the majority of the closure will begin tonight at 10 p.m. and last through 5 a.m. on Monday morning. Okay, and this is 84 in, in both directions. Can you review? There's some differences in eastbound yes. and westbound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So we are uh, we're going to be closing the westbound traffic. We'll close from I-205 all the way to I-5. The eastbound traffic will close from I-84 and I-5 just past the Central East Side Water Avenue exit all the way to uh, 16th Avenue. All right, and how so, are you uh, asking people to get around this closure? How can people uh, still go where they need to go even though this long stretch of I-84 will be closed this weekend? That's a great question. You know, we know that uh, this is a really crucial route for folks, but we are not providing any specific alternate routes this weekend because we know people come from all over the state, all over the city to use I-84. So we ask folks to just take an alternate route that suits them best. We're hopeful that traffic will kind of dissipate through the city and not have any major impacts on any streets in the city. Are, are there any areas you're concerned in, in terms of some of the uh, heavier traffic? You know, 84 is a major trucking route. Are we going to see some of those larger trucks routing through parts of the city that don't typically see things that size? Uh, you know, uh, I think that remains to be seen. Uh, we've notified everyone. Uh, we've been talking about this for a long time. Our freight um, community has been well aware of this closure. And so we anticipate that uh, they will be planning their routes uh, differently. What the route will be is up to them. Now, after this closure, that doesn't mean that the bridge will be totally installed. This is just one part of the installation process. So when will the completion of this project be done? And then when will the bridge open? So this is just the first uh, major phase of moving that bridge over I-84. We will not have any additional uh, 84 closures that are at this level uh, after this weekend. So we thank everyone for their patience just this weekend to get this major move done. We will still be building the uh, final section of the bridge over the railroad tracks that run through the gulch after we place the bridge on a temporary tower between the freeway and the railroad tracks this weekend. And uh, it will take another six to eight months or so for us to complete the construction of the entire bridge and the two plazas at either end uh, on either side of the freeway. So uh, it's going to be a little bit longer. Summer 2022 is our scheduled opening and uh, we're really excited to get to that moment. Yeah, I think that's uh, something that a lot of people will be looking forward to. Of course, we just need to hang in there for some of the traffic impacts in the meantime. Hannah, thanks for joining yes. us. Some good information this morning. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. And of course, we'll have additional resources, maps, all the info you need uh, for this weekend's closure and for the future of that pedestrian bridge on coin.com. And just as an aside, uh, I did.